Welcome back to From Victimized Skiller Turret to Player Killing Nerd. That name was a bit too large, so from now on it's just called Skiller to Killer. If you have not seen episode 1, I highly recommend watching that first. Link in description. This is episode 2, let's get into it. The first session I recorded was a one-on-one -on -one with my buddy Dialet. If you're new at PvP like me, I would highly recommend starting off with fighting your friends. In these clips I'm about to show, there's one major mistake that I keep on doing. And right off the bat, you can already see that I got hit by the Elder Maul off prey. Luckily enough, I get the melee prey on when he hits me with the G Maul. And he goes in for it again, and of course, I did not learn from the mistake and end up dying to it this time. He then comes in with the spear, and if he did use the G Maul there, I would have been dead 100%. Here he pulls out the G-Maul, and I do not get the melee prey on, so I just perish. He starts off with a nice AGS slap here, where I don't get the melee prey off again. Few seconds later, he pulls it up again, and I die. On this clip, I'm gonna slow it down, and you can see that he swings it before I get the melee prey on. Meaning that if his AGS actually would have hit anything, it, I would have taken a lot of damage. Dylet then pulls out his chat setup and yeah, I'm just gonna show you this clip and you can just count it yourself how many times he hits me off prey. And this clip here also shows why a lot of new PvPers quit really quickly after trying to learn because they end up in the wild against one of these chats and they just perma hit you off prey and you really feel like there's no counterplay. So why is it that new players can't get their prayers right but People that have done this for years can usually get their prey right in time. I personally think it's because when you're new at PvP, you have so much to focus on. You have to focus on the switches, on the, both the aggro prey and the defensive prey, and you have to focus on what style you want to do, uh, when is he frozen, when is he not frozen, will he spec me, all this type of stuff is going through your brain, while people that are doing this for a long time and is really good at PvP, they just have a lot of it in their muscle memory. That's also why new players like me will die a lot due to not having the protect from melee on when they go in for the spec. The ages are used and the 1v1 was loaned by Dylet, so of course I will give it back. I might be broke, but I'm not a rat. Oh God damn. You made me feel sweet And if I'm losing my mind would you lose yours with me? You made me wanna melt Like water in the pan It's hard to keep my cool Knowing I'm your man So let's spend some time Wasting it away Your love is like music when it changed the game We're breaking all the rules Our side signs don't match Immigration issues Trying to prove I'm with you I'm gonna miss you Why? Trapped and waiting to die All my life I've been addicted to the wrong side Every road I 
So this last segment, I wanted to show a game of Last Man Standing, where in the end I actually win the game and show how I played it well in the fights and where I improved. But Jagex made an update a week ago-ish, where you have to pay 10k GP every time you enter competitive. Which I don't find as a problem, but they also change the amount of points you get on free-to-play worlds, and for some unholy fucking reason, there's only one EU world, and it's free-to-play. <sighs> you know what that means? Yeah. It's fucking dead. I did end up winning two games of competitive. But this was when they just impl implemented the high stakes game mode, which made all the decent to good players play that mode instead. So I felt like it was kind of cheating the win and decided not to record those. Of course, looking back, it would probably have been a smart idea to record those wins. So I could have used it for this segment, but I don't even know if I would have used it anyway. I kind of dislike the idea of showing somewhat cheat wins. Jagex, of course, also said that they don't even know if PvP should be a thing in OSRS. And that made me kinda sad. So, yeah. Really sorry to end episode 2 on such a low note. I will, of course, keep on making these videos. I will try to keep my head up high. Even though this fucking company, as any other major video game company, has no goddamn clue in which direction they should take. And always end up taking the wrong one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I ended on uh, quite a low note, but I hope that the rest of the video was enjoyable to watch. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the jazz, and every type of feedback is highly appreciated. This was episode 2 of Skiller to Killer. I'll see you in the next one.